And welcome back, folks, to yet another exciting episode of Fallout 3. We are still in the alien spaceship, wearing, well, a spacesuit. It's the one we got from that, uh, well, astronaut who died in his cryogenic uh, pod thingy. Could only thaw him out dead, unfortunately. In any case, we do need that suit to go to the uh, outside of the ship. So let's head into the decompression chamber now. The appearance, it appears that this is the only way to get uh, to the top of this ship. So okay, let's try it. Right, what if I don't? In fact, let's try that. I'll probably just die, but I want to see what happens. Let's decompress ourselves a little bit. Nothing bad could come from this, right? Don't be dumb. Whoops. Guess that's why they call it explosive decompression. Hmm. Okay, we got our spacesuit on. Now let's decompress the area. Right. I like how they use red lights and sirens just like we do. Ah. Thing got a lot more muffled now. Probably because there's very little atmosphere left. And I think we just killed all these aliens. That's pretty gruesome, actually, killing them like that, but there you go. Had to be done. Not to mention that if we had just gone through here, we would have probably had to kill them with guns instead, so the end result is the same. Okay. Gravity doesn't, doesn't seem to be affected, though, at all. It's only the atmosphere. That's gone now. What is that? Activate it then. Ooh, stuff. And that's the space walk. Okay, so we're still inside the ship, although we don't have an atmosphere. We're not quite yet outside. Right. Why would there even be people be... You know, why, why would the aliens even be behind the, uh, the decompression chamber if... It, if all that's between them and the vacuum is this one door, that's kind of a stupid place to be in the first place. Stupid aliens. Looks like, yeah... Ooh, boy. It's very quiet out here. Well, we can hear things probably through our souls. You know, our feet are touching the ship. So vibrations and perhaps some very loud sounds could still be he heard. Hey, look up. I'm right here, dude. <laughs> Let's look around a little bit. Don't get to walk on the outside of a spaceship every day. What's that thing? Well, let's unexpose it then, if it's exposed. I don't know what that did. Oh. Don't know where he's going. But yeah, it looks like this ship actually consists of two separate sources. How do they normally get from one to the other, I wonder? Just gonna look around a little bit. Wow, I like this very much. I wonder what happens if we jump into space. Probably just die. There's a lot of them moving around. You no. Know, despite everything else, there's still gravity because I'm stuck to the lower saucer section. I can't just jump to the other side. 
boxer. Ooh, look at that. Shall we try it? I think we should. Oh, and he lost his handhold. That was silly. Okay, that's how we die if we jump off the ship. Right, uh, there's another exposed panel thing. I'm guessing I have to activate them all to make any actual progress here. But who cares about progress when we're on the freaking outside of a spaceship? Also, I don't seem to have any limit on my oxygen. At least I don't have any indication that I'm running out. Huh. Let's hope that this astronaut brought a bunch, you know. That would be best. Another exposed panel. Like number three or something, eh? Oh. Now there's light. I think I have a I have an idea what this is all about, yeah. It's probably some sort of teleportation system between the two parts of the mothership. Kind of you know silly to construct it like that. Other than just have a, uh, I don't know, a tunnel or a connecting section. On the other hand, maybe they can, uh, like, separate the lower from the upper section without any problems, thanks to that thing. So I guess it, normally there would be, um, this would be open and you would teleport, like, from down there up here. And there we go. Oh, actually, my hand is exposed. Did you see that? My hand. I, I didn't put on a glove on my left hand that seems ridiculous but in any case we made it to the top section of the saucer let's equip our gun and our armor and whoa Whoops. Oopsie, um... I guess I wasn't actually in a safe area yet, eh? Let's try this again. Look at this! My arm! My hand is completely exposed to the vacuum of space. Is that healthy? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so I got that wrong. I thought that, you know, there was air here because I hear sounds and everything. Guess I was wrong. Um, probably gonna have to press this button. Yeah. Seems sensible. Okay. Not yet completed. Ooh, crystals. Wonder what they use the crystals for. The aliens, I mean. Do they use them for, like, energy weapons or do they like use them as currency what's to do with that anyway now i think we can equip ourselves properly oh look at my armor it's completely broken if we meet soma we'll have her fix it i think would rather be better protected especially now that we're in this area oh just workers okay not a big deal yeah yeah you're gonna be all right Engineering core. Hmm. Guess we can activate that. That would help the others. They could just teleport over here. Can't open that. So I guess we are kind of forced to anyway. Let's activate it. Ah, here they come. I'll get the door. Right. There's Soma. Well, hey there. Fancy meeting you here. Right. Nice work. Now what? Um, hmm. We take over the ship, clearly. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Lead the way, kid. Right. Quite a little band of misfits we've got here, huh? Well, we're quite effective. I need my stuff fixed. Sure. Let me see. Right. Oh, that's expensive. But I still have thousands upon thousands of, of caps, so I don't mind. Repair that, please. 
Thank you. All right, I'll make sure they don't cut us off. Right. So there's Pauls and West Korean. He's supposed to come too. There he is. Now all we are missing is cargo. But I don't think we'll meet him anytime soon. Oh no, Takorian has got to kill them. Fire! No! Ah, they're dead. They're so dead. Oh, Takorian. Now he's gonna slice the poor thing. Oh. Uh. Hey, Sally. Good work. I'm not quite sure where to go, but I think if we keep going this way, we'll find what we're looking for. Right. Um, cool. Yeah, she did say that she never really got much further than this part of the ship. So, this is probably new territory so for her. Pretty, You're so dead, I man. Ever see something like this. Not even Paulson is attacking the workers here, it's just a Korean. Whoa. Yeah, that is pretty easy. You're watching your own planet from space. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. Now he's firing rockets at them. Turkorian, you really need some help with that. Crying out loud. Look at this. This is quite nice looking. I don't know what that is. Is that like the sun being reflected on the clouds, probably? Oh, what the hell? I have to assume that's the alien captain. And he seems to be quite annoyed with us. Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, what, what was that? I think they just fired a warning shot at the planet. Okay, now what? Just between you and me, I'm surprised at how well I'm coping. I mean, I think I'm coping. Unless I've just lost my mind already. You are very aggressive, that's one thing to consider. They know we're coming, so be careful. Right. Um, where's Paulson? Why did you leave him? And where's Sally? Why didn't she open the door yet? Oh no. We can still go back to the engineering core, I suppose. That's a good thing. But, where's everybody? Got a bit of an issue here. This door is supposed to be open, you know? Oh no, nobody is here anymore. And I actually had this problem last time too. There's something really wrong here, you know. Um, and I don't mean like in the story or anything. Um, there are certainly some bugs that prevent this door from being opened for some reason. And I can only imagine that that's what happened here. Yeah. We're gonna have to reload this, unfortunately, and try to get this door open somehow. If it doesn't work next time, I'll just cut stuff off, I think, and yeah. But let's reload quickly. Here we are. There's Paulson. Soma. I'll kill them. Why? Because then Turkorian will not run around anymore. Yes, very pretty. I ever see something like this. I had to kill them. That's really something. Almost enough to make you forget we're running for our lives up here. Right. Not really the time for gawking. Okay. Sorry, I should get the door. Hang on, okay? Okay. Now well, let's hope that it works this time. Now that everybody's here and nobody's running around like crazy killing people randomly. I think that may be what interrupted us last time. Okay, so so she is crawling through there. And now hopefully... Oh, there it is again. The alien head. 
They all look the same to me. I know that's probably a racist or speciest or something, but I can't tell that this is the captain. He really seems annoyed. Yeah, and there, you see that beam? He's he's just firing at space. Wow. Did you see that? Scary, but also kind of a stupid move on their part, don't you think? Why? He sounded pretty angry. Oh, come on. You don't need to understand it to get the point. Some kind of a threat. And if they're threatening us, it's a good bet we are starting to scare them a bit. Now, you ask me. We need to find out what that was and make sure it doesn't happen again. But at least we know we're getting somewhere. Right. They're gonna destroy the planet. Although I wonder how much damage that can do after the nuclear apocalypse. I mean, most is in ruins anyway. Right. So there. We need to disable the death ray. Wait. Completed? Disable the death ray? We didn't disable it yet. Defeat the alien captain. What the hell is going on? There's something really messed up around here. I have no clue what's going on here, but we'll just have to keep moving, I guess. At least the door opened like it's supposed to. Takorian and Paulson can come along now. And we can all go to the uh, biological research lab. Okay. Or to the weapons lab. Why wouldn't I just go into the weapons lab instead? Um. Yeah, let's... Let's do that first. So yeah, sometimes the door just never opens. Sally never comes out. And uh, you're stuck there. Good thing to always have a backup safe here in this area because it's kind of a messy thing. Right, weapons research then. Hmm. Maybe we can get our hands on some useful weapons. I kind of like that we're on our own right now. I kind of prefer it that way. Especially when the, uh, you know, when the progress of the entire game and the entire section depends on your AI partners doing what they're supposed to. But then they just don't because there's some bug. Or they're more interested in some other thing that's going on at the same time. I don't know. I don't trust these. AI people, they are not as intelligent as the name AI would suggest. Oh. Oh. Ah. They simply bug sometimes. Sure, that works too. Uh, do we have here? Crystals. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, hold off on following them because I feel there's something kind of not right with, with uh, how that went. I can't help but feel that um, we were probably supposed to go into the weapons lab first, you know. Yes, activate the door, please. Ooh, a drone. Good. I mean, why would they go to the uh, to the biological research first when we're supposed to stop at the freaking death ray? Oh, there you are. Okay, now this drone might actually cause us some damage if it starts firing. Ooh, that worked. Good, good. Everything's fine. Drone can keep us safe a little bit, I think. Ooh, more power cells. And another buttercup toy, look at that. Wait. Wait a minute. Pulverizer? Huh. Looks like it's another atomizer, but a slightly different one. Probably a unique one, if you ask me. How much better is it? 49 versus... Versus 47. You know, it is better, but that's not that great an advantage. Guess we're gonna try it out. Ooh, but... I don't know. It doesn't seem that amazing. 
at least not compared to the normal one. Okay, we cannot use this teleporter, that's fine. Yeah, our drone is kind of stuck there on that shield. I don't know what's up with that. Right, um, looks like we are on the, yeah, we are on the, uh, on the outer ring of the superior saucer section, so that's good. Go for the head, as usual. Well, you can really fire a lot with this gun. That might actually be its main advantage, now that I think about it. Simply the ability to fire so often. It's not usual for a gun. So, yeah, kinda good there. Okay, now let's hope that we can actually loop back because I still want to deactivate those uh, force fields that are inhibiting our guardian drone. What's that? Garbage. Hmm. Whoa. Don't even think that was targeted at us. I think that's against the enemies. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't targeted at us at all. Here you go. <laughs> That's how many? Two, four, six, eight, nine shots. Well, it's gonna need them, because this gun is not that powerful. All these people are just so uh, resistant. That could be the problem too. I think we can finish him off now. There we go, he fell over. Or it fell over, or she fell over. <sighs> it's so tempting to just say he, but with aliens there's really no point in using those pronouns, is there? Also a drone is in a pickle there, apparently. Drone fight! Woo! Well, now it's over. Deactivated the shield, and where are we going now? I guess we can just go downstairs here and meet up with our drone now. Actually, no. Because it's broken. Oh, hold on, there's another one. Ah, I see. Our drone destroyed that support drone, and now we destroyed the uh, guardian drone too. And now you can follow us, Guardian Drone. Come on, the way is clear. Actually, it seems to be stuck. Ow. I'm guessing it's stuck, so yeah. Oh. I can just stay back there and guard the place, I suppose. As for you... Also stuck. Okay. Well, I have the time to just keep firing. If you have the time to keep walking to the box, then we got a deal here. Okay. No hurry there. And of course the next candidate arrives immediately. Great. Again, it's not really that powerful of a gun, but the fact that you can kind of spam it like that really makes it useful. The sheer number of shots that you can fire off is what makes it powerful here. Yeah. 
still, each individual alien takes a lot of shots and time to take care of. Alright. Hmm. More aliens. More loot. Another teleporter. I'm guessing these teleporters, they simply use them to get in here, you know. Kind of like earlier. Um, rather than for me to use them, they are just to teleport in and attack us. What the hell is up with that? Oh, here's our drone. Cool. Um... Hmm. Seems that nobody else wants to fight us anymore. Well, that's fine by me. Oh, killed an alien. I can only assume they start to grow tired of getting massacred by these pesky humans using their weapons and, and turning them against them. Oh, actually, there is a drone there. Ow. One moment there, I kind of thought, is that a drone with a gun or a drone with claws? And I think the answer is now pretty obvious. If we walk around with an enclave hat the entire time, maybe the aliens will think that the enclave attacked them and then they will attack the enclave for us and the Brotherhood of Steel will have a much easier time of defeating them then. Oh. I think I just spotted another log there. You take care of him. Let's get that gun and where's the lock? Here's the lock. Number 24. Alright. Fire! There we go. Alright, another one down. Speaking of logs, now that it's a, it's a wee bit more quiet, I think we can listen to another one. We need to catch up on the ones after all. How many more are there? Well, 19 we gotta listen to. This is my final message. If this doesn't work, I hope someone gets this recording and bring it back to Earth. I've been able to figure out how to use some of the alien devices, like this recorder, and I think I know what they want with our world. They mean to take as many of us as they can and change us into some sort of abomination. What? Many of us have been killed because of their experiments. They've been keeping us in cells and then moving us one by one to their experimentation labs. I've managed to escape, but they are looking for me. You've got to send help up here. As far as I can tell, they're never going to stop until they've captured hundreds, maybe thousands of us. The good news is that they're totally reliant on technology. Without it, they're no tougher than you or I. A small, well-equipped force could take this ship and free all the prisoners on board. That's your best chance. I've got to keep moving, so I need to hide this tape. Good luck to all of us, and Godspeed. Whoa. It's actually kind of trying to undermine them. That's, that's very interesting. What does that do? Whoa! Kill the cow! Okay, what about this? Killed another cow. It's kinda messed up. Is that like weapons testing or something, I guess? Well, it makes sense for this kind of lab, but... Why use Brahmin rather than, I don't know, targets, maybe? I guess they want to ch test how they actually work on, you know, living creatures. Gruesome, but effective. Right. Now, where's this whole death ray thing? 
Maybe if we are even in the, lo in the wrong area. Maybe we should have come to uh, the biologics lab after all. But it just seemed so weird. Why did they uh, rush into that one teleporter? Like they knew what it was for. I don't know. Oh, missed one. Instead, I think we're gonna keep grabbing stuff here. Plasma rifle, plasma pistol, and metal armor. Wow. Lots of stuff and lots of very heavy stuff at that. This won't be easy. I think I can still carry a little bit more, but we're gonna have to end this episode soon if I don't find a way to you know, get rid of some of this weight. Luckily, we are still able to uh, head back to engineering course, so I can just drop stuff off there and should be safe there. Oh, another Gatling laser. Yeah, that's pretty much not gonna happen. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this is kind of a good place to end it. Before we do, though, I think we listen to one more log so that we get closer to catching up. Hey now, no reason to get yourselves worked up. Whatever you need, I'm going to tell it to you. Well, I'm pretty sure you want me to talk into this thing, so here goes. My name is Giles Walstoncroft. I'm the current Assistant Chief Executive Officer of the vault -Tec Corporation. vault -Tec. I was inspecting the construction site of Vault 76 when I was captured what I can only assume are alien beings from another world. I'm not sure what they want from me or what they will do to me. Whatever they need, I will readily provide. Perhaps I can bridge our communication gap and establish a rapport with them. We can enter into an exclusive trade agreement. <laughs> In fact, instead of talking to this damn machine, I'm going to attempt to address them directly. On behalf of the vault -Tec Corporation, I'd like to extend a heartfelt welcome to you. Wait, you don't need that. Wait. Ow. Sounds like another shock baton, doesn't it? Well, folks, I think we'll end this episode here. In the next one, we'll continue our trek through the weapons lab. See you then, folks. Bye.